You have been called in the last minute to replace an absent speaker. Or you are in a dinner and someone asks you to say a few words. Or you are in a customer meeting and the customer asks you for your recommendation. What can you do? Hi everyone, my name is Harito Srivastav. I'm a public speaking coach, certified mentor and the selling author of the book, Small Town, Bigger Dreams. And in this video, you are going to find three ways, three strategies to handle such impromptu speaking. What's those? Let's start. Number one is called prep. You won't have heard the word prep and it's nothing to do with the preparation. Prep is an acronym for point, reason, example and point it's a structure that you can use so if somebody asks you to say something which you were not prepared for you can tell one point which you want to explain for example you love that dinner now why did you love so that's where the r comes into the picture do you love that dinner because that was your favorite restaurant and favorite cuisine and then give the example of what was the name of the cuisine so that's where e comes into picture and then wrap it up with the p which is the point so strategy number one is using prep, point, reason, example, and point. Number two, that strategy is called FAT, not FAT, but it's called FAT, which is F is for feel, A is for anecdote, and T is again for tie back. So feel is where you express your feeling. You love going out, you love walking, you love watching, you love doing something. An anecdote is share a relevant story. For example, I love going out for a walk in the morning. And then I give the example that last week when I went out, I met some one of the friend and we had a great talk and we discussed so many things. There were birds singing. And then you tie back with the saying that, no, you love going out. You love walking in the morning. So that's the second way to handle impromptu speaking, which is called FAT, feel, anecdote, and then tie back. What the third way? And the third way to handle impromptu speaking is called PCR. What is PCR? That's called pros, cons, and recommendation. If you are in a customer meeting, you have two approaches and customer asks you, what do you think? What should we do? In that case, you take one approach and say, these are the pros, these are the cons, and this is my recommendation. That seems like a very structured way to present your point rather than going haywire. So the three ways to handle impromptu are prep, point, reason, example, and point. Number two is fat, which is feel, anecdote, and tie back. And the third one is PCR, pros, cons, and recommendation. What method, what strategies do you do to handle impromptu scenarios, to handle impromptu talk. Write in the comments. I would love to have those. Now, are you someone who want to make progress in your career, but not able to make due to poor communication skills? Are you someone who knows things, but when it comes to articulating, you struggle? Are you someone who hates presenting, who likes to avoid presenting, even though it's very important for your career? Now, I am having Communicate Confidently for Corporate Professional Masterclass. The batch one was very successful, and we are coming up with the batch two over the coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, where you will learn the nuances of how you can communicate confidently. And if you are someone who is interested, I'm going to put the link in the, in the comment section in the chat so that you can come and join us at a very nominal fee. So I'll see you there. And yeah, if you join the limited time bonus, you will get the free copy, e-copy of my book, Small Town, Bigger Dreams. So until next time, as I say every time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep going out of your comfort zone. This is Haritos, and I hope to be back very soon with another interesting topic. Take care. Stay safe.